Speed Maths 7. Simple Interest. Simple interest refers to the interest that is calculated on the original principal amount of a loan or investment. It is calculated as a percentage of the principal and is typically expressed as an annual percentage rate. Basics of simple interest. The principal is the initial amount of money that is borrowed or invested. It is the amount on which the interest is calculated. Simple interest is interest calculated only on the principal amount borrowed or invested. It does not take into account any additional interest earned on the interest that has already been accumulated. The amount is the total of the principal and the simple interest earned or paid. It represents the total amount owed or received at the end of the loan or investment period. The relationship between the principal, simple interest, and amount can be expressed mathematically as the amount is equal to principal plus simple interest. Let us assume that the annual interest rate is 10% per annum. Then the simple interest for two years at an annual interest rate of 10% would be 20%, and for three years it would be 30%. Let's look at one example. Given the interest rate is 20%, which equals 1 divided by 5, we know from the simple interest formula that the principal is 5 and the SI is 1. We can calculate the amount A that is due at the end of one year, using the formula, a is equal to 5 plus 1, which is 6. We can calculate the simple interest using the formula, si equals the difference between the amount and the principal. Model 1. Rate of simple interest. A certain sum of money becomes thrice of itself in 20 years, at a certain rate, calculate the rate of interest. Assume the principal is 100 rupees. This sum will be multiplied three times over the course of 20 years, culminating in 300 rupees. The simple interest is thus 200 rupees. The time period is 20 years. We may determine the interest rate using the formula 200 divided by 20. In this case, the annual interest rate is 10%. Let us now look at the second approach. Variable rate of simple interest. First example. Mohan lends out a sum to Ramesh at 6% per annum, a simple interest rate in such a way that the rate of interest increases by 0.5%. After the end of every year, calculate the length sum, if after 4 years Mohan receives 1080 rupees as interest. Assume the principal is 100%. Given that the interest rate is 6%, every year, the interest rate rises by 0.5. Then the interest rates for the following four Years are 6%, 6.5%, 7%, and 7.5% respectively. The overall interest rate should be 27%, which is equal to 1080 rupees as interest. To solve this problem, we can use the proportionality concept to find the length sum. Based on the information given, we can set up two equations. If 27% equals 1080, then 100% equals x, so we can set up a proportion 27 divided by 100 equals 1080 divided by x we can solve for x by cross multiplying then the lent money is 4000 rupees second example ria invested a certain sum in a scheme in which the rate of interest is five percent for the first two years it is seven percent for the next three years and beyond the five years it is eight percent if after 10 years ria received 85,500 rupees as an amount, then what was the invested sum? Assume the principal is 100%. The interest rate of 5% for 2 years is 10%. The interest rate of 7% for 3 years is 21%. The interest rate of 8% for 5 years is 40%. The overall interest rate should be 71%. Then the amount should be 100% plus 71% equals 171%. Based on the information given, we can set up two equations. If 171% equals 85,500, then 100% equals x. We can solve for x by cross multiplying, then the invested sum is 50,000 rupees. Let us now look at the third model, time of interest is given. A certain sum of money becomes four times itself in 15 years, at a certain rate, calculate the time in which the same sum will become 10 times itself at the same rate of interest. Suppose the principal is 100. 
rupees. According to the question, the sum of money grows four times in 15 years at a specific rate of interest, resulting in a final value of 400 rupees. Simple interest is equal to the difference between 400 and 100 rupees, which is 300 rupees. Also, the sum of money grows tenfold at the same rate of interest, implying that the final amount after how many years are 1000 rupees. To find out how many times 300 equals 900, we must first know how many times 300 equals 900. 3 times is the answer. When we multiply 3 by 15, we get the required time in years, which is 45 years. Let us now look at the fourth model. Find the amount when the time and interest are given. The simple interest and the principal at 11.1 by 9% per annum for 7 years can be calculated using percentage to fraction conversion. 11.1 by 9% equals 1 by 9. It is. Notice that the numerator value is simple interest per annum while the denominator value is principal. To find the SI for 7 years, multiply SI 1 by 7 which is 7. The sum of the principal and SI is 16. The difference between principal and SI results in 2. The value 2 is 3400. Then the value 16 is 27200, which is the total amount. Let us now look at the fifth model. SI investments with variable rates. Mahesh invested 3,400 rupees in two schemes A and B in which rate of interest are 10% and 12% per annum respectively. If after one year he received 360 rupees as interest from both schemes, then calculate the sum invested in scheme A. We can solve this type of question in a smart way using the proportion technique. According to the question, Mahesh invested 3,400 rupees. He invested 10% in scheme A, which is 10% of 3,400 equals 340. He also invested 12% in scheme B, which is 12% of 3,400 equals 408. The interest in both schemes is 360. The difference between 408 and 360 is 48. Similarly, the difference between 360 and 340 is also 20. It suggests that scheme A to scheme B ratio is 12 to 5. Scheme A. Scheme B equals 12 to 5 looks to be a ratio, which signifies that for every 12 units of scheme A, there are 5 units. Of scheme B total value 12 plus 5 equals 17 units. To find the sum investment in scheme A. Multiply the ratio of scheme A unit and the total unit by the principle of scheme A. The calculation 12 divided by 17 multiplied by 3400 appears to be an attempt to determine the amount invested in scheme A using this ratio. Scheme A's investment is thus 2400 rupees. Second example. A. Man lends out 9500 rupees to two persons A and B at the rate of 4% and 6% per annum. Respectively, if after 5 years he received 11,500 rupees from both persons, then calculate the sum. Lent to person A according to the question, a man lends 9,500 rupees. He lends out 4% from person A, which is 4% of 9,500 equals 380. He also lends out 6% from person B, which is 6% of 9,500 equals 570. The difference between the amount of 11,500 rupees and the principal of 9,500 rupees yields simple interest of 5 years which is 2,000 rupees. The simple interest per year from both persons is 400 per annum. The difference between 570 and 400 is 170. Similarly, the difference between 400 and 380 is also 20. It suggests that scheme A to scheme B ratio is 17 to 2. Person A. Person B equals 17 to 2 looks to be a ratio, which signifies that for every 17 units of person A, there are two units of person B total value 17 plus 2 equals 19 units. To find the sum lent in person A, multiply the ratio of person A unit and the total unit by the principle of person A. The calculation 17 divided by 19 multiplied by 9500 appears to be an attempt to determine the sum amount in person A using this ratio. Scheme A's sum lent is thus 8,500 rupees. Let us now look at the sixth model. 
SI investments with variable rates or time. 10,400. Rupees is invested in two parts in such a way that the SI from the first part at 10% per annum for five years is equal to the SI on the second part at 8% per annum for 10 years. Find the sum invested at 10%. 10% per annum for five years is 50%. 8% for 10 years is 80%. SI of 50% of the first part of the principal is equal to SI of 80% of the second part of the principal. P1 into 50% equals P2 into 80%. Therefore the ratio P1 by P2 equals 8 by 5. The total value of 8 plus 5 is 13. How many times does this 13 value equal 10,400? 800 times. The sum invested at 10% is the first part, which is P1. The initial investment P1 is 8. This first part investment should be 8 times 800 rupees, which is 6,400 rupees. Second example, 12,600 rupees is invested in three parts in such a way that the SI on the first part at 2% per annum for three years is equal to the SI on the second. Part at 3% per annum for 4 years is equal to the SI on the third part at 4% per annum. For 5 years are equal. Find SI on each part. SI of 6% of the first part of the principal is equal to SI of 12% of the second part of the principal and 20% of the third part of the principal. P1 into 6% equals P2 into 12% equals P3 into 20%. The ratio approach can be used to solve this problem. Simplifying, we get 3P1 equals 6P2, which equals 10. P3. Divide the equation by 30 to get proportional values. As a result, the three investments have a 10, 5 to 3 ratio. The total value of 10 plus 5 plus 3 equals 18 units. These 18 units are worth of 12,600 rupees. The first part of the investment of 10 units is 7,000 rupees per annum. With 7,000 rupees, we must calculate simple interest over 3 years at a rate of 2%. 7,000 multiplied by 3 and 2% equals 420 rupees in simple interest. Third example, Ganesh invested an equal amount of money in two different firms which give 15% per annum simple interest for 3.5 years and 5 years respectively. If the difference between their investments is 225 rupees, the amount invested by Ganesh is. The difference in investment is equal to the product of the time difference of 1.5 and the rate of interest of 15%, which is 22.5%. The difference in the investment of 22.5% is 225 rupees. 1% is 10 rupees. Ganesh then invests 100 percent of his money, which is 1,000 rupees. Fourth example, the simple interest on 4,000 rupees in three years at x percent per annum equals the simple interest on 5,000 rupees at 12 percent per annum in two years. What is the value of x? 4,000 into 3 into x percent is equal to 5,000 into 2 into 12 percent. When we simplify the equation, we obtain x, which equals 10 percent. Thank you. Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates from our channel.